Okay guys, today I have a little do-it-yourself Excel workbook. You can download this for free. The link is underneath the video in the description. And um, it's macro free. There's no macros. There's no VBA. This is all really simple stuff. There's no pivot tables. Completely simple formulas. And I've got everything set up so that you don't have to build anything. You don't have to do anything. You just enter your information from your company and go for it so let's get started we've got a we've got the first page here this is the raw data page where you're going to be entering UPC numbers so like it, your item has a UPC on it this makes it really convenient for you to add something into your system because you're gonna buy a, a cheap scanner and it costs about 53, 53 bucks for the one I'm gonna show you anyways so here's a picture of it Okay, and you got your scanner. These things are like lifesavers, but they're really just an extension of your keyboard. So we got the um, cursor set up. I'll set it up down here in A36, and I'll shoot something for you. There it turns on. And there you see it. It's entering stuff, right? Okay, so it's, it's scanning stuff into my... Um, my column here and this is like where I would take inventory let me clear it out for you so we'll hit clear contents you never delete in that column and you want to clear both columns if you're gonna do it so clear contents okay and we're starting fresh and I'm gonna show you how you put raw data into this workbook I'm gonna show you First, I'll show you a little video of what it looks like when I scan this stuff. Okay, that's pretty simple, right? So, turn my scanner back on, and I'll just start filling up in any order I want to you know all these cans that are in my inventory pretend inventory I don't really sell cans of mushrooms alright so that's my inventory I shot everything that I own one time so if I had three cans I'd shoot each can one time and that puts the data here this column tells me how many different kinds I have and this column tells me the total quantity of each kind that's right beside it now if I want to sell one, this is where I minus my raw data from, right? So I start shooting cans that I'm selling to customers. Just sold a can of mushrooms. You can see the items are disappearing from the real-time inventory. Right here, I'm shooting cans of mushrooms and it's changing. Oops, that was bad. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That's where it's happening at. I need to be shooting right here. Sorry you can see a change now it's at 12 11 the inventory is going down see I'll shoot a couple other cans in any in any order it doesn't really matter there we go so these are the ones we've been selling all day long right so it's it's uh, telling me that I have none left of this one here alright so I might want to put some more in my inventory but this is not where you're gonna see uh, well, all this happened there's a display for that the next page is called the inventory page that work you can look down here on this little tab hit this tab and it shows you a nice neat little version of your inventory so here's the UPCs we've been shooting that tells it that that can is mushrooms it says that this is the item number we've made for our company here's last year's sales quantity on hand here's the cost for us and here's the grand total of our um, inventory you know in real time if you've been keeping track correctly so where does it get this information that tells it that it's mushrooms chickpeas and kidney beans right it comes from the reference page which is the next tab at the bottom and here are the UPCs for them 
here's their descriptions, their item numbers that we've entered. Um, you haven't seen me enter them, but I entered them earlier. And here's what I give it as a cost. Okay, so if I want to enter a new item, I put in the 12 digit UPC number, right? And then I put in the description, and I put in our item number, sales for last year would be zero, the cost, and so on. So, uh, let me get rid of that. That's where you enter stuff. You can enter stuff anywhere within this uh, boxed area here, and it won't hurt anything or any of the formulas you have going on inside this workbook. Okay, on this page, you don't want to be changing anything and the very first page, the raw data page, you only want to be messing with from A5 down in this column, you know, that, the rest of that column and the rest of this column, these two columns. That's the only stuff you want to be changing. You start messing with these complicated formulas I have here and everything's going to go haywire, so don't even touch that other stuff. But, yeah, that's how it works. I mean, you get a free free download to download this thing um, and then you buy a 53 or 60 dollars scanner and there you have it you have your whole inventory uh, department and your miniature company there so uh, for very very little money actually probably free for most of you people um, you can get you can get started actually keeping track of your inventory instead of just kind of not knowing what you have on hand. And uh, I can I can change this stuff for you. It depends on what you want to have in these columns. Like, oh, I mean, you might be typing this stuff in by hand. You, I don't know. You could you could be calling this item, item 23. Okay. And there it is, item 23. You have one of those. And now it's keeping track of that. Right? So, I don't know how you, most people do it, but I mean, if you're running a large eBay company, or, I mean, you've gotten pretty big time on eBay or something, or you kind of have a mom and pop shop, this would be the way to go using UPCs. I would imagine that's what you'd want to do. So, if you have any questions, you want me to modify this anything at all I just ask you subscribe and and comment away uh, I respond really quickly so don't be shy